Mueller witch hunt sets new priority, the Republican National Committee by Chris Darner for USA Politics Today. Special Counsel Robert Mueller is now going to investigate the Republican National Committee's connection with Trump's campaign. He is so keen on finding something to bring down President Trump, but so far his investigations don't have plausible facts to do so. But apparently he will do anything in his power to spread his reckless ideas, even if they don't have any truth supporting them. Via Business Insider, two sources told Yahoo News that Mueller's team is examining whether the joint RNC Trump campaign data operation, which was directed on Trump's side by Brad Parscale and managed by Trump's son-in-law, Jared Kushner, was related to the activities of Russian trolls and bots aimed at influencing the American electorate. Are you kidding me? The FBI has been scrutinizing Kushner's contacts in December of 2016 with the Russian ambassador to the U.S. and the CEO of a sanctioned Russian bank. The special counsel's office declined to comment on its ongoing investigation. Multiple requests to various current and former RNC officials on Wednesday went unanswered. A source close to one of the Trump campaign's data firms said, they were unaware of anyone being questioned. The left wing, still spreading fake news, claimed that Russian-linked ads affected the 2016 election. I mean, really? This is all they have to go on? What a joke! Hillary Clinton's total campaign budget, including associated committees, was $1.4 billion. Mr. Trump and his allies had about $1 billion. Uh, even a full $100,000 of Russian ads would have erased just uh, 0.025% of Hillary's financial advantage. In the last week of the campaign alone, Mrs. Clinton's super PAC dumped $6 million in ads into Florida, Pennsylvania, and Wisconsin. I have 40 years of experience in politics, and this Russian ad buy, mostly after the election anyway, simply does not add up to a carefully targeted campaign to move voters. It takes tens of millions of dollars to deliver meaningful messages to the contested uh, portion of the electorate. Converting someone who voted for the other party last time is an enormously difficult task. Swing voters in states like Ohio or Florida are typically barraged with 50% or more of a campaign's budget. Try watching TV in those states the week before an election and you will see how jammed the airways are. This only proves Democrats are going to give a try to anything that can destroy President Trump, but their corruption can't affect people who see the good Trump does as a part of the reality, a reality that doesn't include liberal pressure on the regular citizens and liberal mainstream media propaganda. We are way beyond that. Only the stupidest among us can still believe their dull stories. I mean, but they are so stupid. It's pathetic how stupid they are. I mean, this is a joke. In other words, how much is the Mueller investigation cost so far? About $7 million? Okay, you've got nothing, and now we're going after this? What, you just trying to rake in a paycheck, Mueller? I mean, what is Mueller trying to do? What a joke. What a joke. The, the And the ads, uh, they're saying that, they've aired after the election. <laughs> I mean, it, you know, I mean, really, and, and, and the backlash, Trump could, you know what, let him go, like the way Trump is doing it. He's allowing them to hang themselves. And as much as they're investigating, other investigations are going on behind the scenes. So it's working in our favor, guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.